Backroads is made possible by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund with money by the vote of the people November 4th, 2008.
Thank you very much. My name is Corey Medina, and I am a Navajo from Shibrock, New Mexico. I'm a blues musician, and I've been in the Bemidji area for about four years now. Growing up, I didn't have musicians in my family, but they loved music. And my uncles were my biggest father figures, my uncle and my grandfather, and they loved blues, and they loved old-time country, and just stuff that you could feel. And, I, and I, it was cool that I could feel that as a young kid. And I just grew up listening to what my mom and my uncles listened to, and that was just a lot of soulful stuff. So, yeah. <laughs> Just want 
Thank you. When you're performing and you come up with a set list, do you like to have like kind of a basic plan then like if you're willing to like change up a few songs just by like how the crowd is reacting, like how do you approach the the set list oh side gosh. of things? Um, I'm horrible at set lists. You ask any anybody if I've played with. I think in this past year I've made two set lists. <laughs> But I'm so thankful that everybody I've played with, they're just so in tune and just so down and ready. They're like, all right, whatever, like, they're ready for whatever I throw at them. I mean, a lot of times procrastination on my part and just not being prepared. But a lot of the time too is like, I'll make a set list and I'll be like, yeah, that's cool to have a set list, but this doesn't mean anything if it doesn't really match the crowd, you know, because we do ballads and then we do hard rock stuff and then we do stuff in between, you know, classic rock covers. So I was like, well, you know, it just depends on the, on the crowd, the venue. I'm halfway through the set, if I feel like the crowd is dancing away and the next thing on the set, the ballet is like, all right, no, let's, let's keep it up, you know? Or if it's kind of a chill crowd and they're, they're down for whatever, then it's like, all right, let's do the more experimental, slow stuff, you know, it's, so it's cool. So yeah, so I, I'm horrible with set lists. I hardly make a set list. So we do, we just feel it out um, when we get there. I think that's one of the interesting things about performing live music is you're telling a story, but that story can be different every night. And it really, man, and for me, I'm very thankful for the musicians I play with. If you watch me tonight, there'll be times I'll just, I'll give Eric a signal, my drummer, and he'll do it, he'll know what I'm doing. He's like, oh, we're gonna do that again. All right, cool, you know? But I just, I love, my, I love the, the guys I play with. I can just throw anything at them. They're like, all right, cool. Yeah, we're feeling that too. And if they're not, they'll still, they'll still follow my leads. So. <laughs> um, but yeah, so really with that, it's, it's really the, the guys you're playing with, you know? So if I was playing with guys who need structure, it'd be a little hard for it to be organic. And, and I try to do that every show. I try to make it different every time um, as much as I can, so yeah.
you. And how do you approach songwriting? When I first started picking up the guitar, I was like, man, I want to be able to play the blues. I want to be able to feel that. And then I was like, man, I'd love to be able to sing like that. And I always tried and I just could not do it until one day I was a freshman in college. And I've been playing guitar up about five years up to that point. And I finally just stopped singing under my breath and I finally just sung out as hard as I could and I actually like hit the notes I wanted and I was like, whoa, like, and that's when I realized vocally that to really feel it and express it, I have to give it everything, you know, and sometimes it's weird, like the faces I make or I have to get a little growl in it and I'm glad a lot of people don't really like shy away from it too much. And so really just so when I write, I really have to know that not just vocally, but even lyrically that it's, it's real to me. A lot of my songwriting has to be very personal, uh, both good or bad. And I think that's what makes a lot of the best songs. So.
guys so much. Thank you, Backroads, Lakeland. Thank you so much. Appreciate it, y'all. Backroads is made possible by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund with money by the vote of the people November 4th, 2008.